Right now, we're in the middle of a crisis, which is actually this prolonged drought that, you know, we never ever anticipated that, that it's going to be this long. So we got called and uh, the report is that there were elephants uh, stuck and it was very hard to believe that actually four elephants could actually fall in one, you know, hole. We went in there and the very first thing to do was to actually try and get the baby. However, it was very tricky because <clears throat> the female was so defensive of the babies. Uh, luckily, the baby was right behind her. So what we did, we had people in front of the female trying to distract her so that she can't reach her, you know, us as we're trying to pull uh, to dig out the baby. Quickly, uh, with the help of everyone there, we dig this baby out, and the baby was the very first that we got out. In the process of trying to actually uh, dig them out, it was amazing the piece of behavior that we actually saw in these elephants. That you know the fem you know they were reaching each other. You know you could see the the trunks reaching each other, particularly babies into the mother, and we think it's a sign of you know trying to comfort and the trust these calves still had uh, with their mother. And you could just see that female on and on trying to defend these babies. But as soon as the babies were out, you know, she started interacting with all of us. She started drinking water. She started interacting with the tractor. And it was quite, you know, it was quite something. It was really, really powerful. Milgis, which is about 200 kilometers away from us, from our sort of operation area, which is Samburu National Reserve, must be one of the wildest places because you know in these places elephants only come and drink at night uh, and then they just go into their you know they go their way so they don't have that much association with people so for that female to relax and start associating with us and just drinking water and splashing herself was quite a powerful scene we started carefully digging uh, around her beside her just carefully until she was there, just about to come up. But then the trouble was, her legs had given up. You know, she was there for almost 24 hours, and like she couldn't lift herself up. Luckily, this tractor <clears throat> was an amazing machine. We could actually be able to pull her from back and just hold her so that, you know, the, the flow of the blood again will go back to her legs. So between all of us, between the community, between the partners, between uh, Kenya Wildlife Service, which is the government side, I think um, that team effort is what is needed up there because we don't know how long this uh, drought is going to go for.